If you are in the state of South Carolina, no, you do not need a carry permit. So what does this mean? This means that if you are planning to never, ever, ever leave the state of South Carolina and carry your gun on your person, you don't need to worry about a permit. What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today I'm going to be talking about do you need a CWP for the state of South Carolina? All right, the reason I wanted to talk about this is there's still some confusion out there, some misunderstandings and some misinformation around what's happened here in South Carolina back in March. All right, I've got other videos that I'm going to have links for up in the top of the screen and then I'll have a playlist here at the end of the video that's available that talks about a lot of the carry laws and stuff. And we've got a lot of other great videos that are getting ready to come out uh, breaking down a lot of the carry laws and things like that. But again today it's it's talking about do you need a CWP especially here in the state of South Carolina. So if you are not aware which I'm sure most of you should be, back in March, South Carolina passed constitutional carry. Now, I'm not going to get deep into this because, again, I've got other videos that are going to be up at the top of the screen for you, free to go in and take a look at if you'd like to, that break down exactly what is constitutional carry, what is open carry, and then what is a permit carry. There are differences there. So just to re-clarify this for the umpteenth million time, we are not a open carry state. We are a constitutional carry state, which means permitless carry, meaning you don't have to have a permit to carry concealed or open in the state of South Carolina. All right, that is while you are in the state of South Carolina. So let, let me reiterate this. We are a constitutional carry, meaning permitless carry, meaning you don't need a permit in the state of South Carolina to carry your gun, whether it be concealed or open. The difference, quick difference there, concealed means it's covered up, it's hidden. Open means it's out in the open. So please, people, stop telling people it's open carry. There is a difference. I understand how some of y'all get that it's open carry, meaning you don't need a permit, but that's called permitless carry or most commonly known as constitutional carry. All right? I hate to get on the soapbox with that, but I'm just tired of the misinformation getting passed around about this. Now, let's clarify this. If you are in the state of South Carolina, no, you do not need a carry permit. So what does this mean? This means that if you are planning to never, ever, ever leave the state of South Carolina and carry your gun on your person, you don't need to worry about a permit. Some of y'all probably have to, don't do that, da, da. All right, I'm tired of that bullshit too. If you're in this industry and you're upset because they passed this because it's taken away from your classes, then I'm sorry, you're not for the Second Amendment. There's no, I, there ain't none of this, I'm for the Second Amendment, but I'm glad they passed this. Has it impacted my business? Yes, it has impacted my business a little bit, but I offer more than just carry permit classes. If you'd like to see more of that, check out the link right here. and It'll take you to my website. But, you, again, as long as you're staying in South Carolina, you're meaning you're never ever going to go to any other state at all whatsoever and want to carry your gun on your person. That is where the permit comes into play because not everybody's constitutional carry is set up like our constitutional carry. Meaning, with our constitutional carry, if you come into this state, whether it be for an hour, a day, or a year, 
you're under the constitutional carry category. You can carry your gun without a permit as long as you're the age of 18 or older. So if you're living here and you have family visit from another state, they can constitutional carry. If you have a friend coming to visit for half a day, they can constitutional carry. But again, not every other state is like that. So what I mean is Georgia is not like that. You have to be a resident. Tennessee is not like that. You have to be a resident. So just because we're constitutional carry like these 20 other some odd states doesn't mean we're all the same as far as how that applies. Some are like ours where you can just go in the state visiting a resident and you can constitutional carry. Others, you have to be a resident of that state or you have to have a reciprocating carry permit. So like Georgia and Tennessee, you would have to have one of our carry permits. So when you see people out there asking about where do I go and get a permit, stop telling them they don't need it because you don't know what they are doing. All right, I'm sorry, this has really been upsetting me. I wanted to do this video and I wanted to clear the air. Now it's probably not gonna get out like it needs to and that's just fine. Some of y'all might wanna talk shit because I'm getting upset with you when you tell somebody, oh, you don't need a permit. You don't know what they've got going on. You don't know what they do. If they travel outside of the state of South Carolina, it's best to have the permit. Unless you're gonna start looking at every constitutional carry state before you travel into it to see how their rules apply. So please, if there's somebody out there asking where they can go and get their permit, if you don't know of anybody, keep your fucking mouth shut. If you know of somebody, tell them where they can go and get their permit. But stop just going and tell them, we oh, don't need it, duh. So again, if you stay, if you are never, ever, ever gonna go out, or let's, let, me, let me rephrase that. If you're never going outside of the state of South Carolina, or you're never gonna carry your person, your gun on your person outside of the state, state of South Carolina, you don't need your permit. You don't. But now if you're wanting to leave the state of South Carolina and carry your gun on your person, you are going to need your carry permit. So please people stop just saying you don't need it because you don't know what their jobs are. You don't know where their jobs send them. You don't know what they do personally as far as vacation and travel and things like that. So please stop just telling people they don't need it. This, this just frustrates me and infuriates me to no end that you're just going to go out there and tell somebody, oh, you don't need it. That's not always the case. If you want to get mad at me, you want to go down in the comments and talk shit, so be it. I don't care because you know what? I don't give a fuck about your comments and what you think. What I do care about is making sure people are properly educated. And you just running around going, oh, I don't need it. It's not proper education. So please, if, if you can't tell them somewhere to go and find, or go and find, or somebody to go to to get their carry permit, just keep your damn mouth shut. Because some people might just want it to have it. Because another reason is it does make buying guns a little bit easier because you're not having to wait on the background check. Your permit proves you've already been through the background check. Because I've had people come in and tell me, I'm not getting this to carry, I'm getting it because it makes buying guns easier. Now before one of you idiot ass politicians or fucking gun grabbers or anti-gunners out there be like, oh, let's make it easier with this stuff. That's not what I'm saying. Just because you have a permit is not making it any easier or anything like that. It's just eliminating you having to wait for them to call your background check in and God only knows how long that can take. Now you've got your permit, go in, fill out the paperwork, they take the information off the permit, and there you go. So there are other benefits to having the permit besides carrying it on your person. But please, people, stop telling people they don't need it when they're asking where they can go and get permits. 
because they might travel a lot and then at that point if they want to again carry it on their person they will need the permit if you ever have questions about getting a permit, permit questions, legal law questions as far as concealed carry and self-defense, please feel free to reach out to me. I already threw my website in here earlier. It's down in the description. It's up at the beginning of the video. It's got all my contact information on there. All right, matter of fact, I'm even gonna throw my link tree up here in the screen somewhere. So you can go over to my link tree. That's got all of my contact information, social media stuff, and it even has my affiliates. All right, and if you've noticed, I've got my little USCCA t-shirt on. If you're gonna have a gun, you're gonna carry a gun, I highly recommend having some protection for yourself. And I've always kind of called it this, it's, it's legal defense for self-defense. So please go over to USCCA and check them out. I'll throw their website up here uh, just so you know where to go and stuff. Check them out. If you've got questions, reach out to them. Their customer service is awesome. So I hope you have some protection for your protection. Again, some legal defense for your self-defense. So please go over there and check them out. Check out my affiliates, my promo codes and stuff are all over my link tree. They're all down in the description. So if you get anything from any of them, go over and check them out. Get you some gear, some swag or whatnot and use my promo codes. And always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.